Well, I think generally, um, na naging pace ng San Miguel yung uh, naging laban ng first quarter. No? Uh, they were able to make stops on the defensive end, and they were able to run. They were able to capitalize on their outside shooting, and uh, uh, to couple that, hindi nakapag uh, hindi nakapag uh, taas ng percentage itong Hinebra sa kanilang shooting. So kaya nakikita natin yung lamang ng San Miguel. San Miguel. Uh, very fluid in that first half. If you have fielded 11 players and eight of them have scored at least four points, that's going to be a big problem to your opponent. No? Uh, napakalaking bagay. And it, it, the, the scoring was really spread out during the, those uh, quarters. Uh, Barangay Hinebra outscoring uh, the uh, Beermen in that quarter. Oh, you have to remember they were down by as big as 24. Yeah. So that was definitely a quarter one by uh, Barangay Hinebra. So, uh, see that last play. They had a lot of time left. They forced Alex Kabagnot to miss a shot. So when they took the rebound there after a huge block a shot block. by Japit Aguilar, they had a lot of time left. Pero hindi sila nakatawag ng timeout and they were forced to take a bad shot. Hindi tumawag ng timeout din. They had two to call. Two, time, two full timeouts to call. But well, we are into overtime. San Miguel eking out. It's really eking out. Nahirapan sila bago natapos ang Barangay Hinebra, Coach Ryan. Oh yes, and after being on top by 24 big points, nawala yung kanilang kalamangan. Pero yung parati kong sinasabi rito, especially dun sa mata ni Coach Leo Ostre, mo okay na yung Montic Matalo kaysa yung Montic Manalo. Kasi Montic Matalo, e eh, panalo pa rin naman sila.